In the previous section, we learned how to use criteria range to visually demonstrate what criteria uh, have been applied to the table to uh, display the outcome of the filtering. And here in section 5.20, starting from page number 337, we are going to work on uh, extending that even further. So we'll use criteria range to filter and then we'll display or put out or extract the result of filtering in um, another range of cells. So essentially we will um, preserve the rendering or display of the, uh, the table so it, it'll continuously display the whole table but it will uh, extract the outcome of the filtering in another uh, location such as somewhere below or any any other place so first we're going to set it up so we're going to copy the first two rows of the table and then paste it into top um, rows and then we are going to name the range of cells to let me just press the escape key to stop the uh, marching ends so we are going to name the range of cells for criteria um, range so that includes the column headings of the table so these are the original headings and we copied it here and then we'll have additional row for the value or values so again we are going to name this range of cells make sure that you include the uh, row 3 that's a second range, second row of this little table there, and we're gonna we're gonna name it as a criteria, criteria, and make sure that you hit press the enter key and make sure that it is uh, spelled correctly. The the word or the name criteria is a reserved um, uh, a range name, the range name. Okay, so it is recognized by Excel as a certain um, value. Okay, it's got certain properties built in. So it is not just a name, simply name of range. It has something more. All right, so then we are going to um, copy to save time we're going to just copy the row number one and two so just title and the first row the column headings now just remember we uh, gave a name a range um, of cells row two and three and now we're going to just copy row one and two okay and copy it and then go down to uh, let's see what does the textbook say um, go down to 30 um, hmm row number 36 there and paste it you can right click and then click on paste that's paste or P so it is a simple copy and paste it's nothing more to it and that's no, it's not essential part of the the whole scheme of criteria range or extract or anything like that it's just simple copy and paste and but it should make sense so um, hmm. all right so we are going to change the content of assigned files faculty that's the cell A36 and replace that with morning dash 
evening schedule. So morning dash evening schedule. And of course, we're just borrowing this range of uh, cells for criteria for understanding. Incidentally, we are going to name the range of cells uh, from A37 through G37. So that's, that's it. And then we are going to name it. Here, just remember, I did not include additional row here, okay? Did not, those column headings. And then we're gonna name it as extract. Again, the word um, or name extract is a reserved name in Excel, which means that it has a specific meaning or built-in function uh, in Excel, and then Excel will behave according to that, you know, built-in function or property of the cell range uh, extract. Okay, so that's done. And you can, you can guess that once we apply some kind of a criteria on this table, and then it's gonna spit out over here. Okay, that's the basic scheme. And the last step we are going to do is uh, naming this range of uh, cells containing the table. Again, it's going to be A7 through G34. That's the entire table, all the rows, and the column heading row as well. And then we are going to name it as database. And hit the enter key. So let's make sure that you spell it right, otherwise it's not going to work. So it's like, a, again, this is a reserved name. So it's almost like um, a function name. So let's say if you want to add a range of cells, then you use, sum, use the sum function. Just imagine that you spell it right, uh, wrong. Instead of a S-U-M, maybe you spell it S-U-N, as in Nancy, then it's not going to work. So basically the same thing, you have to spell right in this particular um, names for the range of cells, such as criteria, extract, and database. Okay, now let's apply some um, criteria or criterium. So first thing we are going to apply would be, let's see, F3, that's secondary schedule, um, no, E3 first, that's a primary schedule, that will be morning, and then half, and then secondary schedule would be evening. So we are looking for, we are looking for professors who have morning schedule and evening schedule so that's not going to do morning evening no afternoon so hmm morning evening there's one that's a senior lecturer cis so that's good so basically that's we are that's what we are looking for okay among these professors we are looking for who have a schedule with the primary schedule in the morning and evening. Of course, we have to spell it right, morning and evening. So that's good. Um, and then what? We are going to um, do data tab, go to data tab, and then advanced sort and filter. And let's take a look at it. So the list of range, so basically, this is the range of cells that we are going to filter. And then criteria is going to be cell A2 through G3. So there are two, there, there are two criteria, morning and evening. 
that belong to primary and secondary. So that's good. And now the copy to is kind of a grayish. That means it's not applied because I need to change the action from filter the list in place to copy to another location. So that is the action for extract. And then it's going to copy to where? So here, A3, A37 through G37. So you may wonder, how did Excel figure it out where to get the criteria? Where is the range? And uh, where's the list range? And where's the criteria range? Well, remember, we named the first here, row two and three as criteria. So that's here. And then we named this big data table as database. So it's here. And then we named this 30, row number 37 as extract. So those reserved names um, are recognized by Excel and automatically uh, filled in to this dialog box. So that's the beauty. And then go ahead and click on OK. And voila, we have two senior lecturers who have morning and evening. So that's good. So let's do one more. So I'm going to copy this. Um, so I guess I don't need, what does a textbook do? Um, okay, 37, so copy those two headings, the column of the table headings and column headings, copy it. And then go down to A41, go row number 41. And this time I'm going to change from morning, evening to morning, I guess, afternoon. Here. Okay. And then we are going to filter this table according to this criteria. And then we're going to put out over here. So that's the scheme. So let's change the criteria. So it's going to be what? Oopsie. No, never mind. I need to change this. Uh, morning and afternoon. Is that right? Let's see. What does the textbook do? Um, change evening to afternoon. Okay, so I'm going to change this. Again, this is not that critical. I'm just trying to match with the textbook. And it should be, okay. Uh -huh. Okay, so primary. Primary would be well, I think it's primary pri I think it's a morning and okay so it's a schedule for morning and an afternoon so morning dash afternoon all right so I need to change the criteria here. So morning stays the same, and then change the evening to afternoon. So I'm changing the criteria, and then filter the table and put it out here. So we may, you may wonder, okay, we didn't we name this range of cells as a um, what extract? Well. Why do we have it here? Well, let's let's go ahead and do that. So we have new criteria: morning and afternoon. 
first primary and the secondary schedule and so let's go to data tab and then advanced and okay so we picked it up the range correctly that's the table and then criteria range again from a uh, two through g three so that's good but i need to make sure i click on the bullet for copy to another location that's that's extract and copy to where well here let's see let me just go down here let me just go down here let me just do it one more time and events oops see here you go so right now it is it's going to put it out to a37 which is here through g37 that's a default why because we named that range of cells as extract so it picked it up because it the name of cells has a has been recognized as the output location so you picked it up but we don't have to keep it we can just replace it so let's say instead of a 37 I'll say it's gonna be 42 let's see G okay G uh -uh. okay I'm just not messing it up so let's do it again copy to so replace 37 to 42 and a 42 through G 42 so it's one row and you can do this way or you can simply click on this button and then go down here and you highlight it and there you can do that way so it's basically the same thing and you put back the original and go ahead and click on OK what happened you don't see it until you scroll down here so we have morning and afternoon as a primary and secondary so we have three professors or instructors it's again we filter this table with two criteria and then we specified where it's going to be put out and that's what we got and so we can keep changing the criteria here and or whatever the criteria that criteria values values that you want to apply and then keep using the table and put it out first location and then second one and third and fourth and so on just make sure that you change the uh, the table title so that you have the correct meaning to the data or the information okay um, this is again um, activity 5.20 starting from three page number 337 and it goes all the way to 339 okay